Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's we're going to be reviewing a Toyota Tundra Capstone. Before we get in this video, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Brent Brown Toyota here in Orem, Utah for giving me some time with this Tundra. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a hybrid twin turbo 3.5 liter V6 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 19 around town and then 22 in the highway with power outputs being a whopping 437 horsepower and then 583 pound feet of torque. Now before I move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, notice how it's kind of like raised on either side and then of course it says iForce Max. And then popping down below, I love the headlight design and then I like this little accent piece as well. And then you guys can see all of the chrome trim. It's got kind of more of like a brush finish on it though with the grille. And then notice the Toyota logo has got a little bit of blue to signify it's a hybrid. And putting it all together is definitely in your face when it comes to styling, especially with that grill. Now coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 265, 50, 22 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see here with the wheels, metallic with all of the paint, you got like the silver and the gray, it looks really good. We've got these nice body painted fender flares and then notice the capstone badge here on the side. And then we've got chrome on the mirror caps, the door handles and the window trim. And then here is your full side view with the Tundra. Again, the body lines and everything, it pops. Now here's a quick look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We got the drop down for the tailgate and the Toyota logo there as well. Now taking a look at the bed, you guys can see here we've got protection from the factory and then we've got some LED bed light action as well. And other than that, pretty normal sized truck bed, so nothing too crazy. With the tailgate itself, it's pretty dang light. We're finishing things up with the rear, you guys can see the three taillights here and then notice Tundra stamped into the tailgate. Parking sensors at the bottom and then you got a little step here in the back as well. And then my favorite thing is this little button right here will lower down the tailgate too. And putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the looks here on this Tundra capstone. Now take a look at the door panel here, two-tone with the coloration, and then we also have some sunshade action as well, and then I love the wood trim down below, and then look at the speaker here for the sound system. And then take a look at the seats, you can see really nice leather again, two-tone with the coloration just like the door panel, and then we do have some under seat storage as well, it's a 60-40 split for those of you that are wondering. Now the legroom back here is really good. We also have a storage pocket and then I love the grab handles here on the back. Got the leather trim around them. Anyways, more of that two-tone design as you can see. And then we also have heated and ventilated seats down below and then you guys can see with the charging ports. And then last but not least, headroom. It's good. Now take a look at the front door panel again. You can see with the two-tone design. We've got all of our window controls here. We've got our door lock and unlock. We've got our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. Memory seats as well. And then we do have blind spot monitoring with the mirrors. Payload capacity with this is 1,335 pounds. And then here's the front seat. Notice again, perforated all down the center portion. Power adjustments here on the side. And they got a bunch of controls here. Main stuff is like your gas cap release, for example, heated steering wheel function. Um, that's for the steps to turn them on or off, which is pretty cool. And then collision assistance. Steering wheel is power adjustable. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see perforated on either side and I like the texturing here at the bottom and at the top and even the airbag cover as well. Anyways, we've got practical controls like our adaptive cruise control, our lane keep assist, we've got our volume and voice command controls as well, and then your stocks there on the back. Now taking a look at the gauge cluster itself, you can see digital gauge cluster here, uh, standard with the capstone makes sense because it's loaded up one. Um, we do have a tow haul mode that we can go into and then we do have some different drive modes. Basically just have sport, eco, normal, they keep things simple. Now I've got a 360 camera system. You guys can see trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. Also have your bird's eye view there at the top. And overall response time with this is really solid. It's super easy to use as well and good resolution. So sorry about the glare, but um, really good camera system. Now as for the infotainment system, we have a shortcut bar here on the side. Uh, it does take a second for some of the menus to load up, but overall response time with this is really solid. Got nice trim here at the top and look at the wood trim down below and then the vents on either side and then you can see the leather below that. 
Um, anyways, we've got our dual zone climate controls here. Um, we also have heated and ventilated seats as well. And then you get your big old radio control right there, which is funny. Um, this is for the trailer backup assistant. You guys can see for the camera system, stability control, hazard lights, and then we do have some blank switches. And then right here, we've got our auto hold with your parking brake and then shifter for that 10 speed automatic transmission, wireless phone charging pad. And then you guys can see some cup holder action. Look at the wood trim here on the top, really nice. And then our drive line select, uh, which is kind of hard to see, but we got two wheel high, four wheel high, four wheel low, and then our drive mode select right next to that. And then this leads us to our center console. Again, nice wood trim here on the top, and then you get the leather trim on the other side. Got the little peep window, which is always fun, um, but it does open up and you can see there's tons of storage inside. And then of course we got our glove box, which is really enormous. And then up top, we got a rear view camera mirror, which I've always been a big fan of. Um, power setting window as well, which the whole window goes down. Very nice feature, and then panoramic sunroof. Now here's a quick look at the window sticker here for the Tundra. Um, you guys can see all the standard equipment. Um, base MSRP, 78,845. After all options, 81,892. And let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood and hopefully you can see the heads up display. Both the mirrors do a blind spot monitoring throughout the rest of the rear. And let us set off in the Bentley of pickup trucks. <laughs> I'm just gonna give every single luxury pickup truck some, uh, some like, it's gonna be the whatever of some sort of luxury brand. So I guess the next time I review a luxury truck, we'll call it the Mercedes Benz or something of uh, luxury pickup trucks. Cause I've already used Rolls Royce and I've already used Bentley. I guess we could do Lamborghini too, or Ferrari, the Ferrari of pickup trucks. Who knows what it even means? It's good for a YouTube video title though, right? Um, anyways, uh, first off, seat comfort's really good. AC seat is definitely coming in clutch. Really good torque. I, you know, I feel like this is, it's, it's strange that this is controversial to say, but I feel like this is controversial to say, I am absolutely in love with Toyota's twin turbo V6. It is just, it's so good. Um, it just has such a nice torquey feel like the EcoBoost feels really powerful But like you I feel like this gives you the torque earlier on if that makes sense Even when you compare the power boost So I don't know what it is, but like this this engine just It, it hits the sweet spot when it comes to torque Ride quality is really good with this truck, too So they've done a good job with all of that I actually like this heads-up display it works. It's like the night. It's like it's like a good size uh, most heads-up displays, honestly, I just completely ignore them, but like this one I'd actually use. So they've done a good job with the overall setup. It just drives really well. It's amazing how comfortable this is. I'm actually super impressed. Now some other stuff, sound insulation is pretty good with this braking's pretty good too feels much like a normal half ton yeah just the the torque you get it right off the bat it's really good handles pretty well yeah i love this engine <laughs> it's fun this is a fun engine it really is pretty dang exciting to drive and everything and it's like I said it's super comfortable too so yeah let's get into setting things up here the capstone the Bentley of pickup trucks it drives well like it's comfortable and hey it, it does a good job as a luxury truck um, and it, it's got you know it's got all the nice luxury features Same thing, it doesn't have as massaging seats so I guess that's one thing that it could they could add it's massaging seats. Um, yeah, outside of that. Oh, also trailer brake controls down here. I don't know if I showed that in the uh, walk around, but they're just right there. It warned me to brake for a person. This I guess they're kind of on the road. I guess they were kind of on the road. But anyways, uh, let me know your thoughts on the Tundra capstone and let me know um, what you think about this compared to the other luxury trucks. This segment of luxury truck is getting smaller as time goes on because Ford just got rid of the Platinum, or not the Platinum, sorry, the, the Limited. And, um, I mean, Chevy still does the High Country. GMC still does the Denali Ultimate. Ram still does the uh, Limited. Um, 
but really the limited that would compete against this would be like the limited tungsten whatever 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 so yeah anyways let me know what you guys think about this compared to other luxury trucks and um, let me know what you think about this compared to other tundra packages too